people who live in the shelters most of the time, homeless people die at four times the rate of their counterparts in the general population. Rough sleepers uh, are died somewhere between 12 and 14 times that number. So we're dealing with a truly lethal uh, condition. On the other hand, you know, there was, there were, I don't want to say, some of these people were just wonderfully tough and hard not to admire in some ways. What the homeless people who put us together wanted was continuity of care. They wanted, they wanted doctors and nurses and teams that just like we want, someone who's going to be there today and also be there next week if you're sick or two years from now and get to know you. And when they heard I was going to be there only for a year, they couldn't stand me. <laughs> Because they said, we don't want to like open up and have you get to know us, and you're going to give us all whatever you're doing. And then a year from now, you're just going to leave us? So I had a real existential mm -hmm. crisis about that, mm -hmm. because I was acting just like the person they didn't like. <laughs> uh, and so I remember struggling with that. But then what I got captured by, as all of you know, if you take care of these folks, one, it's initially how complicated everything is when you have a med you know when you have you know diabetes and you're also struggling with schizophrenia and you're also caught with an addiction or, or substance use disorder it's really complicated to take care of that person when they live outside or in the shelter and i think all of us who cherish doing medicine are overwhelmed by the complexity so i was initially caught by this is much harder than when it, when i was working in the icu where i had control of everything yeah. um, and i was compelled by that but it what I wasn't ready for was to realize how slowly things happened. You know, like you're, I'm used to like give a medicine, we'll cure somebody, mm -hmm. we'll, you know, do, and it didn't happen like that. And I remember that's where the nurses, Barbara in particular, came to my rescue, be, said like, if she would say things like, you know, if you're looking to change people's lives and get rid of this homelessness, you're in the wrong business, but, you're a doctor. Well, it really was about just taking care of people. It wasn't about changing society, even though we'll fight like hell to change society. The likelihood we're going to do that in the next five or 10 years is pretty slim. But these are sick people who need your care now. And I was stunned by how much they appreciated all of us being there, and then how strong those relationships became. And then I think that's when it all changed. That's when you realize, oh my god, this is exactly where I wanted to be, although I had no idea until I got here. And is that OK? Yeah. <laughs> The full Rough Sleepers discussion is available on FCTV's public channel and on your favorite streaming platforms. Visit fctv.org watch to learn how to tune in.